So I have installed an Irigreen digital sprinkler system that's going to print water onto my lawn. So let's go! First, I cut up all the sod where the irrigation pipe and the controller lines were going to go. Then we rented that trencher. Then we laid down all the pipe, we made all of our connections and set all the sprinkler heads. Then we backfilled all the trenches and took the sod and laid it right back on top. And Left will even showed up to help a little bit too. And now it's time to program the sprinkler heads. I've programmed a few of them. I've been playing around with them. I uh, have not done this one yet, so I was gonna kind of show you the process. It's not really that big of a deal, but basically I go into my app and my app has every sprinkler head listed out here. Just click calibrate. And so it has a little calibration process. It kind of spins around a little bit. And I think, I don't know this, I think what it's doing is kind of testing out the water pressure. It's testing out how much volume or whatever it's getting. And the normal throw is like 25 or 30 feet that you can get out of one of these heads. Which way is it going? That way. <laughs> but anyway, they kind of test out how far they can go. And then once it calibrates, then I push program and I can go in here and tell it exactly what points I want it to stop at and how far I want it to go. And so I have my little map of my sprinkler program, but basically all you'd want to do is just map it out to the edge of the yard or the edge of where the other sprinkler head is going to match up because they would be in a straight line. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. And we put in our first point, add point, and then since it just chose that direction, I'll start there. But we'll go to the edge of the flower bed is where I want this one to go. And that's about where I want it, right there. So then that point is set, you add a new point, and you drag that one over to where that one's gonna go. Super simple, like super intuitive. So there we are. So my system is maxed out at 36 and a half feet. And uh, that's just based on the water pressure or the water volume that I have in my line basically where did i start oh and then i started right there on that corner actually so now we can just push play and it should go through the cycle and you can kind of watch it and see oh it's going short right there and i missed that spot or whatever it's not curving along that line like i wanted it to and then you can go through and you can adjust all the points as it's going through its little routine here and spraying around the map that you just built so as you can see it's very simple i would say the system is simple now, as far as a DIY install, it is also simple. I was talking to my father-in-law and he was telling me about installing a normal irrigation system and all that goes into that. And he was shocked at how simple this was. However, I don't know that I'd say it was easy. And a big part of that might be my fault. The jury is still out on whether or not it was actually beneficial to put the sod, like to cut the sod out and put it back. Because let me tell you, 
That has been the most tedious and the longest part of the process is clearing out the like trenches where the sod was cut to be able to put the sod back exactly where it came from. So I'm not completely convinced that that was a good idea. I don't know that it wouldn't have recovered just as fast if I would have just trenched and had a six inch you know, wide area for the grass to fill in instead of all of this now. We'll see, because over the next few weeks, we're gonna get a good idea of how fast this is gonna recover. I do wanna say thank you to Irigreen. Irigreen actually sent me this system. So I went and bought the pipe and the connectors and all that sort of stuff, but they sent me the actual sprinkler heads. You can go on their website and you can actually look at your lawn and it'll show you how many sprinkler heads it would take to fill your area. Uh, you can get one of those sprinkler heads for free if you use the code Lawn Tools at checkout, but it will give you a price right there on the website. It'll also tell you how much water you're gonna save, at least based on averages, because of how much water you're not going to overlap from normal sprinkler systems and how much you're not gonna put on the concrete and that sort of fun stuff. I've teased a little bit on TikTok and Instagram about the Irrigreen system already, and I've gotten a little bit of hate. I don't know what it is about new technology. People are really afraid of change, uh, but I think it's awesome. I'm kind of an early adopter of new technology, and this just makes so much sense as far as like where technology is going and sprinkler systems. Irrigreen is the future of irrigation. I have no doubt about that. Like in 10 years, you're not even gonna consider the old school sprinkler heads anymore. So I'm okay with getting a little bit of flack for being an early adopter, I guess, and doing something different. But anyway, Hope you enjoyed the video. I guess I'll see you later. And left tool even, ah, darn it. And left tool even came to, sh ah, darn it. Left tool even showed up to help a little bit too. And left tool even help, ah, showed up. And left tool even showed up to help a little bit too.